hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so in this series we are going to see how we can use this powerful open source tool called the 3d slicer tool to analyze visualize and work with different sorts of imaging including medical imaging so in the very first tutorial we are going to see why do we even need this tool next we are going to see how we can download and install this tool so th it is ready for us to use so this tool has basically been uh, made for medical professionals and researchers and people who want to work with medical imaging or even if they want to work with 2D or 3D based imaging. This tool allows you to work with different sorts of imaging including CT scans, MRIs, PET scans, fMRIs. You can name all kinds of medical imaging. You can work with it using this tool. It allows us to perform different operations such as it allows us to visualize for example in this example you can see a 3D image. It allows us to visualize this with three different views. Other than that we can also get a 3D visualization of the brain as you can see over here. Next we can use this tool to perform different operations such as segmentation or registration or um, different other tasks for example if we want to see how these labels have been made or how we can work with these labels we can also generate our own labels, segment our tumors, different sorts of tumors and visualize it in different manners but this tool is not only um, not only restricted to be used in medical imaging it can be used in several other domains including material science where the purpose is to study material properties defects of microstructures next it can also be used in industrial engineering where the purpose is to visualize the prototypes and work with them other than that, if you are working in computer vision and robotics, one of the recurring tasks is to perform object segmentation or object detection. This tool makes it very easy. It allows us to segment out different objects so that it, they can be used for object detection and segmentation purposes. Other than that, it can also be used. This tool can also be used in environmental science where the purpose is to work with satellite imagery or LiDAR based imaging. And we can use those kind of images to work and analyze them, visualize them and perform different sorts of information or uh, operations on them. So now that we know why do we use this tool, Let's go ahead and see how we can actually download it so it's ready for us to use. So in your browser, you can go and type 3D Slicer and you will get this link. This is the first link by slicer.org. You have to click on this link. As you can see, there are different options that are available. You can go through the entire documentation. You can see how, how it, the tool has been developed by going to their GitHub repository. Other than that, you can also go to their social media handles and see what kind of updates they have made. Our purpose is to download this tool. So we are going to click on this download button. Once you have clicked on the download button, you can see you'll get different options based on the operating system that you are using. So for example, if you are using a Windows system, you are going to download this version. If you are working with a Mac OS system, you are going to download this one. And if you are using a Linux system, you can download this version. I am working with a Mac OS, so I'm going to click on this. It will start downloading automatically, as you can see over here. Once it starts downloading, you can see this file is for 360 MB, which means it will take some time around 15 minutes to 30 minutes, depending upon the speed of the internet connection you have. I'm going to pause this video and wait while this setup is being downloaded. Downloading the file, you will see it appears here in your downloads folder with the extension .dmg. You have to simply click on it and it will take you to an agreement, license and condition sort of terms. You have to agree to them. I didn't get that window because I have already downloaded and installed the software in my system. So it will uh, once you agree to the terms and conditions, it will take you to another this a window will pop up and you have to simply click on this app and drag it to the application folder and then drop it once you do this step it will get pasted over here in your applications and it will appear here i get, got this error because i have already installed it so i'm going to stop this once we have successfully downloaded them we can go in this applications and you can see that this icon has appeared in my applications as well it will be the same case in your 
system so simply you have to click on the slicer tool like this it will take some time to appear because it is a heavy software it takes some time to load and register all the module and instantiate them once the modules have been instantiated and everything the window will pop up it takes some time it will take i think a few seconds uh, 10 to 15 seconds max okay so here you can see this shows us the message you can always click on this if you want to check this and you don't want this message to appear and again and again so we downloaded and installed the 3d slicer tool as you can see this interface has a lot of options this can be a bit confusing at first but we are in the next video we are going to cover and see and understand the interface and see how many options that we have and then use those some of those options on a sample data and understand how we can work with the software and make best use of it so thank you so much i'll see you in the next video